Hello and welcome to this quick tip. This quick tip is for this gentleman here, small scale steam, very difficult to say. He's struggling to use the Walksnail OSD app. Now this is one of the reasons that I love the Walksnail system. So many of the third party things that are out there, iNav, Betaflight, things like the sneaky FPV fonts, but also this tool exists, which enrich this system and make it a lot more useful for pilots. Now, this is a tool that allows you to download the files that are on your SD card with modern versions of the firmware. There's three files, there's your video file, a subtitle file, which is basically the line of text on the bottom, and then you have your OSD as well. And this little application allows you to get those three things along with the font file and recreate the image that you had in your goggles and then allows you to turn things on and off as well. Now this particular chap is struggling to get the font file embedded and it's actually easier than it appears, but then things are always easy when you know the answer. Let's jump on the computer and I'll show you the trick. So this is the tool that we're interested in. I'll put a link down below if you want to go and download it. And this is the latest version. I'm recording it now, uh, 0.3.0, I think it is. And it has some new stuff, allows you to save in 264 and 265, upscale to 1440, mask OSD items, it's fab. So if you want to download it from here, go into the releases and you can download the version that's gonna work for you. This one's for Mac, Windows, so I've downloaded it and installed on the computer. This is what it looks like when you set it up. So you can have all these different pieces. Here are those three files, the video, OSD, and SLT file, and the font file. So I've just got three files off my goggles just to play with here. And we can either drag it in and it will populate it. Or the other way you can do it is you can open files, navigate to where you have the footage, click on any one of the footage pieces, and it will make it all work. And I think you've probably spotted how you get the font file in. Now it hasn't automatically picked a font file. You can open the preview down here, but it won't appear until you actually drag the font file in. Don't forget, you definitely need to use the same font file that you use to encode it. Uh, you can obviously change it around in terms of things like, you know, if you're using Contrax and use Sphere as other things, I would recommend downloading and using the sneaky FPV fonts. That's what I do. So I actually have in here, the Contrax fonts that I was using, and I'm just gonna drag those in too. And then I get my preview. So that's the answer. You just drag the fonts that you want and the files you want into the tool. It isn't obvious, but hopefully that helps you use the tool and get the most out of your fab Walksnail system. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.